Hello and welcome. This is Marisol. Today I'll be sharing my February Project Life pages for 2020. I'm using the Stories by the Month kit by Allie Edwards. And this is what the kit looks like. Yeah, three by four cards. This kit is so pretty. I've only looked at three cards and I love it already. Like that graphic. Loved ones. I love you more than anything. That is so cool. Oh, I love that touch of green and yellow in this color palette. If you can't see, love is spelled out with multiple loves. <laughs> February stories and reflection, memories, and little bits of life. I like that. Let's see what else we have in here this month. Awesome heart stickers. They all have, they all say something. Cool. Oh, this is the marketing card. I found it is the small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Some acts of kindness and love. Small acts of kindness and love. That's nice. Chipboard. So glad to know you in my life. Know you in life. This month was full of regular life. I like that. Oh, I'm excited about using this. We've got a package of wood veneer hearts and the stamp set. So if you'd like to see how I use this kit in my pages, stick around. This is what I have left over after creating my pages. The stamp set, a 3x4 card, 4x6 card, the chipboard pieces, and the heart stickers. I used a lot of the kit this month. But I think I used it in another project too, not just this one. I think I used it in my weekly memory planning project as well. For this month, I have the left, the right side, and then a couple of inserts. This month, I am using or er, showing you the pages outside of the photo album because it's so big and bulky and it's hard to fit on my desk. This is what the spread looks like without the inserts. I really liked how it came out. Lots of hearts in the spread. Lots of different colors. I have some pinks and some yellows. Lots of pink. <laughs> Alright, let's do the left page first. There we go. For this page, I tried to do a visual triangle with the colors there. You can see. And lots of hearts, as I said earlier. This was a digital card. I love ha having digital 3x4 and 4x6 cards as backups for journaling to tell my stories. I only have one, two, three pictures on this page and the w first one is about the weather. Um, this, this one here is about the pool plans and this one is the birth of my niece. And that's pretty much it as far as design goes. Yeah, this is the right side. What I did for the right side was I used this 4x6 pocket to document each one of the photographs. Although I numbered the the lines there, I didn't number the pictures, and but it goes in order like this. And it just gives a little bit of information about the photograph. In this layout, I tried to do some, again, color visual triangle with the yellow here. I brought out the yellow in my daughter's shirt. This wood veneer, I painted with ink, and then I used a sparkle spray on it, and I really liked the way that it came out. I feel like it breaks up the photos, and this card here complements the color of that card there as well as the brown in the background of that photo. You guys know I like to try and color coordinate as much as possible. And then these are the inserts. This insert here is actually 
a trim down page protector. These pockets are 3x3 three three, and this was fitted for a 9x12. I trimmed off the bottom six pockets and used the pockets for the top to document uh, some, pic some pictures from my date night uh, with my husband for the month of February. I decided to use black and white photos and let the pink and the red for these two cards kind of um, pop out. These cards are actually from the bonus subscriber, uh, what is it called, the Scrap Gals bonus subscriber cards. Those were 3x4 and I just trimmed them down. I did the same thing back here, used black and white photos and I used numbers to document each photo and added a little bit of information for each of the photos. The last insert is a 6x8 and it tells the story of the flowers I received for School Social Worker Week and the back side documents my son's Valentine's Day project. Okay. And that's pretty much it you guys. Not a lot of pictures and I'm okay with that. I think that um, I gotta go with the flow <laughs> and not force things and for this month I didn't have a lot of the photos and I'm okay with that. Stay tuned for my March pages which will be coming um, hopefully within the next few weeks and thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.